Okay. Good morning, <laughs> Ross Bandy Psychic Medium here, and I'm just noticing how there's one of my teeth that just shines a little more than the others for some reason. Must have the right angle on it to glow. Anyway, we're here for this morning's daily Lenneman card spread reading, and I'm coming to you from B dot Live, and I am using my eCam live stream uh, virtual camera. So I'm hoping that all of this is working back to normal because what I've got here is uh, after a reset so that I'm through B Live, and it's wonderful to actually be back in this format again. So hi, Kylie. Wonderful to see you here. Wonderful to see you, Keza, as well. And wow, we've got Rachel from Somerset in the UK. So that's lovely. We are global. <laughs> it's proof. And we've got Kerry Ann. Wonderful to see you here. And we've got Tracy. Good morning, Tracy. And Michaela, how are you this morning? Good morning. And Renna, good morning to you, Renna. And there we go. That's the list I've got of the comments so far of what is showing in my Be Live chat stream. So I'll go over to the cards, tune into your psychic senses so that you are gaining the information that Spirit's giving to you directly. And we'll see where we go with the cards this morning. We have Leone too from YouTube channel. Nice to see you here. Thank you for being part of the show, even if it's just in the comments. <laughs> here we go with our owl card. Here we go. What if I fall? Oh, but darling, what if you fly? I've seen that in different ways in uh, various memes. It's a beautiful card. I love the way this owl is flying. It's really, It really is that lift, that what if you fly? You're not going to fall. So trust your own um, inner abilities. Certainly put your trust in your abilities because you do have them including your psychic senses too. So here we go, top of the morning to you, Michaela. <laughs> Lovely to see you here. <laughs> Again, <laughs> that was the second comment, wasn't it? So but that's okay. You can comment as, lot, uh, as much as you like. You can put lots if you want to. It's lovely to have you all here. And the card that we've got from the Inner, Inner Soul Guidance Oracle deck that uh, Leanne and Deb have put together here we've got the stag. Observe, listen, pay attention. Step back and see the bigger picture. See what that's presenting to us? If I can get it to focus. And this is where the camera, probably I may have put a fingerprint on it and it's not wanting to focus very well. Um, anyway, step back, see that bigger picture. Uh, there is more than meets the eye. And look at the beautiful colours in that the heart shape of the front torso of this stag, but those beautiful antlers, it's absolutely gorgeous. So that's our card from the Inner Soul Guidance Oracle today. What we have with our, um, oh, and also that I'm using the Gilded Bravery Lenneman deck. That's the other reminder. Okay. Now we've got Kim as well. Good morning, Kim. Lovely to see you here as well. What we've got with our deck today, with our spread today, I mean, as far as the usual five card spread, we've got the star in the home space. We've got the birds in the workspace. The young lady is in unexpected. And we have the coffin as our role and the parks or garden as that central one. They don't seem to want to sit real well on this velvety type fabric sometimes. So with the star, <laughs> I don't know why I mentioned that. We can see that. I'm just the Virgo wanting it in the right. Exact. <laughs> it's not OCD at all. Ask my sister and that twin sister. Um, here we go with the star in the home space. It really is asking us to focus have a look, look to more than just what is, like the stag said, it's not all that it seems. 
because when we're looking at the sky at night there certainly is more there than it seems you look at one star you see that brightest shiniest star and then you your eye moves to the next one to the next that sparkles to what is the depth of that sky you see more each and every glimpse as you're looking to to the sky at night uh, especially clear nights it was a clear night for here for uh, you know the start of it and it was beautiful outside good morning Linda lovely to see you here gorgeous gorgeous um not that I'm into horses but it's a gorgeous photo hey foxy lady <laughs> hi Elaine <laughs> it's so wonderful to see you all here so and all the multitudes of who else might be around and surrounding you that might be influenced by things that you do things that you say how you perceive how you put yourself out there it's not that that's why we do it we just our star our shining star is who we are and we need to be in that authentic space of who we are and that's what I'm seeing from this in our home space this morning be you don't try to compare yourself to anyone else don't try to be anyone else just be you and be your own shining star in that cosmos that little realm that is your own home that is your friends your family those closest to you that they can get to know you more as at the same time you get to know yourself more because in that interaction they themselves are learning more about themselves and growing in that space of becoming more their authentic being so we all need to interact on that level of just being our own shining star and gauging our own triggers gauging our own learnings walking our own path but we certainly can walk that path hand in hand with others and those surrounding us because that's what relationship is we do not live alone in this world okay we're with others at so many points in the day and we don't put much consciousness into it we just keep moving along with what we do don't we so I'm thinking that this is actually bringing to our attention that we need to have a bit more focus on how it is affecting how we are affecting others around us by are we being true and authentic to ourselves that that then shines out our light to others as example or as you know not that they're needing to compare but they're needing to grow too okay and shine their light basically that's what I'm feeling from this and having it in the home space today home space being that that real origin of relationship and growing that moving it into our home our workspace as well for many we do and are, li are, are living and working from home as well because of restrictions and uh, whatever however it is affecting our lives and but for those moving out and about in in community in our workspace it's also communication so again shining your light being you standing up for what you need to voice and how you need to listen remember communication is a two-way thing it is speaking it is communicating body language but it is also listening and also seeing what's happening around in our workspace so remember the focus for this one is that workspace oh good morning Sarah have to put your lovely comment up because I love that clover four-leaf clover I look forward to that every morning when I get it right <laughs> so here we go have that time in like that focus of listening speaking and you know have, making it good communication that you're being able to put into your workspace in whatever form it can be in the text you know sms written word as well as speaking but because this is birds it is more specifically to the spoken word so be mindful of how you are speaking with others how you are listening back as well and, and uh, doing all of that um, communicating you know in your truth okay so oh good morning muskan muskan beautiful name um i don't do individual card pulls here this morning um these are this is just a general card spread reading so hi savannah so do uh, bring into this reading your own sense of what the message is for you in these cards okay so we're moving up to the young lady in that unexpected space so there will be the influence of that soft gentle 
feminine energy popping up in your day, uh, whether it is as you as a woman or whether it is your feminine energy if you are a man, because we do have the balance of what is the feminine masculine. So bring that focus, bring that awareness to your day when you feel that energy flowing through or when you have communication with someone who is uh, either younger than you or older than you. It doesn't matter, you know, perspective of where you are in your life, but it, it is that joining in a connection that's going to pop up in your day that's, that will involve that younger feminine energy, okay? So in whatever way that moves into your day, just acknowledge uh, may not be much interaction, but there could be. So we're going to move down to our role in that. And I'm feeling that gentle energy that might be part and parcel of this that is our role of the coffin. Now, the coffin doesn't always mean death, as you know, but it is a moving on or a, a death of some form of our energy or uh, you know, even it can even be some sort of a plant you've got in your house that's just died and you're needing to get a new one. That's how literal sometimes that the Lenneman card deck can be. So here's the things that are buried in with this sarcophagus that would be in the pyramid if it's the, you know, reflective of what the ancient Egyptian culture did do for their, um, you know, their part, their deaths. Uh, they believed in reincarnation, so they would provide the things that are needed for that next life, and that's where the that wisp of the soul is being passed into that next life and preparation, and there's all the things that were going to go with that um, persona into the next life in prep. What we're needing to do, though, I'm feeling, is that in that respect, have that... Uh, uh, you know, letting things drop so that they do die, you know, the physical and all that that we don't need anymore. And uh, only that that really is essential to take on to the next step is what I'm feeling with this. So if you're coming up with something that really is changing in your life as far as a decision you've made or it really is, ju uh, you know, just a, a, a complete different pathway that you're going on and you no longer need stuff and you're cleaning out, uh, moving house is a really good example and not taking stuff that you don't need, which I did, of course, and still got to clean out. But it, it's that sort of thing. And there are times where it may, it is a hard decision to know when to let go of some things because of sentimental value or because it just still has that energy and hanging on to you. Uh, it may need to be that you, you need to get that um, a pair of scissors uh, in that sort of comparison and cut it off type of thing, you know, cut the cords, whatever it needs um, to move on. That's what I'm feeling with what our role is with some of what we need to be doing today, okay? It's going to clear the way to actually really enjoy what is that natural pathway of and the garden, ha you know, having that time with others that really is clear of the baggage, for instance, and <laughs> and this is interesting that you're mentioning this, Rena. You're meeting with your mum today to talk businesses. You're going to be moving into your own businesses based on death, mind you. Um, look, sometimes, you know, what we, what we have here in this that is the coffin is all this stuff moving on. It doesn't physically go with us to the next life. It is reused in some form for most of us as inheritance. And I've had that experience myself as being able to have um, accepted inheritance from mum and dad's estate. And, you know, it does happen that we need to do things, do something with what is left behind. And inheritance is a good way of forwarding on and continuing a legacy if that's what's needed and continue the garden flourishing in some form, you know, creating something new from what was old. It really is about um, bringing that freshness, that new pathway into what we're doing, our focus of being, not so much what we're inheriting from someone else. We can leave those expectations and, and learnings and behaviour behind if we, so, if we see that that's not going to serve our purpose, bring it into that new realm of how we're going to create our garden and be able to sit back at the end of the day and think, 
<sighs> look at what I've achieved today along my pathway, along what I need to do to be me and to be that absolute unique you in all that you can create for what you've got ahead and for helping others along the way to understand who you are that they can then better understand who they are so um it's a little involved in how that spread is presenting today but it it, it does feel to me like it is the focus on being you letting things drop away that are other people's expectations and you know what they've taught you by their own example and I am thinking of parents in this instance and how our upbringings do affect us long term and sometimes we do need to unlearn that and really stand in our own ground our own power of who we are and I'm not real keen on empowerment as a word because we are already in our full senses of empowerment as we move through our own day we don't need to put it in action just be aware of it we've got all the possibilities within us just discover that be you and walk that path in your uniqueness so um i'll leave it at that for today thank you so much for being part of my start of my day in these live streams i absolutely love doing them and sharing with you so um, take those messages that you've got from this set of cards even if you need to go back and just pause it on the card scene and see which one really jumps out at you that might be your mini mantra for the day just to have that focus um, there's so many different ways to actually look within to to learn more about yourself to what's next rather than continually looking outwards we do have it all within so thank you so much um, for being here and i'll put up some of these thank you <laughs> thank you keza and for everyone a beautiful day you have such beautiful words too and uh, rachel that's what's happening in your life as a legacy of your son's death at christmas and you'll be able to create that awareness it's a lovely sharing thank you in support of those who've lost through suicide military there's so many different things that we can actually um, use as those healing paths too i'll just put that up again because i'm interested in that the the theta healing techniques there's so many different ways that we can uh, seek support and help it's not always obvious that's where i like to go within and just ask spirit guidance what is the pathway i need to be moving into and listen and see those signs of where you're being directed to thank you for those beautiful prayer hands uh, Michaela love that and thank you Sarah you have beautiful day as well and thank you uh, the cards are amazing aren't they Rena each and every one of us is amazing and for your own interpretations they'll be amazing as well sense into what you're receiving from your own spiritual guidance too so thank you, Kim, and yes, Mena, I love the Lenneman decks as well. They're absolutely beautiful. And everyone, have, have a great day that's there. And Rachel, you're in the UK, so it's night time. Have a wonderful sleep. <laughs> so thank you, each and every one of you. If you do need some extra, uh, more in-depth readings, just have a look at the connections there. And thank you. Hey, kids. <laughs> lovely to see you popping in beautiful uh it's just all the connections that we can have it's just in its imperfection we have a perfect world so and perfect people around us thank you very much until tomorrow morning around the eight o'clock i hope to be on time <laughs> namaste <laughs>